guys, welcome back to Living with Stephanie and Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Yeah, I got a new dog, y'all. His name is Cooper. And I want to introduce him to you. So guys, today's video is about uh, me building a base for my new storage cabinet. I have a new Craftsman storage and I want to put it up in the backyard to store some of my uh, decor, like my Christmas decor and my village items. So I'm going to build the base for this storage in this video and I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. Guys, look at my grass. My grass was so beautiful before I started the season of decorating for my backyard. So since my grass was all green and pretty, I decided to beat it up. And this is what it looks like before we get started with the backyard. The first thing I wanted to put in the backyard was I wanted to do a concrete patio. So I had a guy come in and he did the concrete patio for me. You'll see more of the concrete patio when I show you my patio makeover. Okay, guys, I hired someone to help me create this uh, paver patio, but the work they did, it was good, but it wasn't what I wanted. Great. So I'm going to pick up from where he left off. Basically, I'm going to unload all of the, the pavers, and then I'm going to restart it. Okay, guys. I moved every stone that was on here off. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make sure that all of these boards are lapping and overlapping like they're supposed to. That way you won't have these big gaps like this and then the board on the outside. So I'm gonna bring it all in. And the reason why I'm gonna do that, I think it matters because if it wasn't, it wouldn't be an overlap. They'd just be side by side. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, there is a little bit gap need to happen here, but I'm gonna deal with that little one piece right there because those bricks are level like I want them and that's what I'm going to use as my guide. The first starting point is I'm going to till the ground.
Okay, so stay tuned for that video as well. The first thing I had to do was find a place that I wanted to locate. I wanted to build the cabinet. So I looked around a yard and I found the, place, the spot that I thought was the best spot for the cabinet. What I did was, once I found that ground, I wanted to make sure that the ground was going toward the hill so that the water would fall down would roll down okay so once i found this area i tilled the soil i tilled the grass got to get rid of the grass by tilling it um and beat up the soil real good once i had all of the soil beat up i tamped the ground with a tamper and got the soil level tried to level the ground now one thing I will tell you is when I leveled the ground, I didn't want it to be a perfect level because I wanted a slight decline going down the hill. Okay, guys? After tilling the ground and then going back and tamping the ground, I was going, I decided I was going to use this board. This board is better than the gravel rock for me because I didn't, that way I didn't have to carry no heavy gravel rock. Okay? So I used these boards, and I laid all of these boards out, and I overlapped them in everything. So after I got done tamping the ground, the next thing that I wanted to do, I wanted to lay about a half an inch of sand. I spread the sand throughout, and then I tamped it with a tamper again. After I tamped it with a tamper, I basically took a two by four, about eight feet long, and I screened the sand, screened the sand to ensure that it was level with a slight decline for the heel. After this, I laid the board. These paper boards you can purchase at your favorite hardware store. Um, there's something new that you can use these paper boards instead of using the gravel rock in this um you can use the paperboard instead of using the gravel rock i did it because the paperboard is so much easier to work with than the gravel rock and then i didn't have to have one of those heavy um tampers to make sure that everything was level once i got done laying all of the paperboards the next step for me was to lay my 16 by 16 Concrete blocks, concrete pavers, as you probably would call them. I laid the pavers. I used a ruler instead of tile spacers to ensure I had adequate state space between each side of every, each block. That means left, right, forward, and backward. I wanted to make sure I had enough space, and I used a ruler to do it. You can pick up one of these 36-inch uh, rulers, a yardstick, should I say, from Lowe's. 98 cent. It was a good way to do more than one at a time and then just keep going and keep them as level as possible. Remember, you want to decline if you're going down a hill because you don't want water to build up. Now, once I got all of the papers evenly spaced and laid on the paper board, the next step was me to use paver sand. Now, the purpose of using paver sand um, was for me to put it on the... Uh... So, the next step was for me to take some polymeric sand and pour it between all of the joints of the pavers. Now, I thought maybe I was going to have a problem with this because I had paper coming out of the sides of my pa my pavers. So what I did was I took some edging, metal edging, and I edged all around the edges of my new base, okay? That kept the sand in, okay? Now, when you wet this sand with the water hose, and we'll get to that part, it's going to harden like concrete, okay? So that's the purpose of this sand. So I laid the sand, poured the sand in all the crevices and cracks 
And then I took a broom, a heavy broom, and I, 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 I swept the sand in all of the crevices all over the place and got all the dust off of the top of the tile, the top of the pavers. Once I got done doing that, the next step was for me to take my blow my blower and get all of that dust off of the top of the papers. I did that and then I took a water sprayer and I sprayed down the papers. I did this for at least 30 seconds in each distinct area. This helped me. After I got done, I left it for a whole day, at least 24 hours. This is the result of my paper-based patio. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, I hope you learned something not to do. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time on Living with Stephanie and Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Goodbye, y'all.
The next thing that I wanted to do was to put up this storage cabinet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I build a base. And then later in another video, I'll show you how I assembled the Craftsman 7x7 storage shed.